What's up? What's good in the hood? Let's talk about it, good people. It's your boy Carcino here. DJ Envy. My goodness, that is the perfect name for that dude there. You got to envy a guy like that. It's almost pitiful. <laughs> this man sits there. He's on this show with his wife. And supposedly, supposedly, right, they wrote a book. <laughs> They wrote this book together. It's like, okay, I can buy that. We know it's BS, but apparently they wrote a book. And to promote this book, they got to give up. You know, you do your little book tour and you go on your little shows and you give up some of the juicy bits of the book to get people interested to go in and say, oh, I got to check out the rest of this book. Now, what people don't realize is that we've all told you about Envy and his wife and his situation and how it all went down and so everyone in the world knows it so she's gonna write a book to talk about all of the things that happened and she keeps holding on to when people have moved on from this years ago she's still trying to use this for profit and gain because she wants to be a celebrity it's bad enough the husband has been whipped into the ground she wants to be this Huge celebrity. Then she goes ahead and embarrasses her husband all throughout the internet. Even though he's about to be humiliated on the book, he's willing to take this because he messed up many years ago. One mistake is costing him for the rest of his life. Once you forgive a man, it's over. Once you forgive a woman, it's over. You don't get to keep coming back and throwing it in their face whenever it benefits you. Either you forgave them or you didn't. So it's like, okay, well, if you haven't forgiven me for it, then we need to make a decision then. Because I'm not going to have you just keep throwing this up in my face all the time. See, this is what a real man would, you know, be having these type of conversations. But, you know, we're talking about DJ Envy. <laughs> so... Let's listen to the, the bit of what his wife actually said. And I'm sure so many women can relate. Like, you want to reward that man for that work. And the only reward that you have to offer is an orgasm. But yeah. even if I didn't feel it, I would still be performative. So, yes, I was faking it. We got into, like, an argument. And then she was like, well, you know, I don't be having an orgasm. And I was like, what? And she was like, I don't. I'm like, no, yes, you do. I hear it. Like, ah, ah, ah. And then she was like, no, I'm faking it. I'm like, every time? And she was like, yeah. And then that just crushed me because I thought I was putting in work. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'm, you know, Big Daddy Long Leg. And you're not. <laughs> you the sucker. Now, she went on to say that, you know, you be trying to put your best foot forward. Like, he's in the business of trying to satisfy. It's like, he lives to make me happy. And he puts his best foot forward in that role. So I would see him trying and really going to work. And I'm sure many women can relate. <laughs> oh, my God. 
うんうんうんおおまがい。I wish they would have played the, the other. I wish they would have、uh, played the full message. I mean, the full clip. Because it's even worse. Because he came out and said, It hurts me because I thought I was pleasing my wife. You hear all these stories about women talking about their girlfriends. Oh, girl, he was so short. Oh, girl, he didn't do nothing. And I feel like they were they laughing. And now I feel like that's what my wife is doing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> That was the challenge, Envy. If your woman f e e l enough to do that, you're supposed to put it down. That means you ain't doing it right. <laughs> She probably w a n t to be choked out of man right there on that show. I mean, oh, uh huh. So you think I can't put it down? I grab him, threw over that damn armchair, lift it up. I put my foot on the back of her head and start tearing it up right there on the show. I don't care if that chick look. <laughs> Oh my God, where did this come from? Shut up! <laughs> Get my title back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Envy. Gosh, it's just. Does that look like the face of a man that's tearing it up and putting it down? He d o n t look like the guy that's putting it down. He l o o k like the guy that just brings the bags in the house, bringing in the groceries. That's him. That's, that's the guy. He makes the money. He comes home and she's busy. Like she said, he lives to make me happy. That's his job. What's your job? If that's his job, it's just to make you happy all the time. I don't know where they say that was part of the job. Your happiness depends on you. You make yourself happy or not, or you. You know, somebody could do something to bring you joy and help you in that process, but your own happiness depends on you. Someone could assist in that, but your, your happiness depends on you. That falls on you. Now, If you're that insecure and you feel your wife are, are saying these things behind your back and all this stuff, well, she just told the whole world. So everybody looks, looks at envy, and, and basically it d o n t matter to you because no one believes you're putting it down anyway. <laughs> so it really d o n t make any difference. If you wanted to get better, you and your wife can go see people. You guys can actually communicate, find out what she likes if you want to do that. Me, I'm not going to brag or anything because there's no need to brag. I have good nights. I have bad nights. <laughs> I have nights where I just don't care. That happens. Not everybody's in the mood at the same time. I might be busy. I might not be thinking about them 99.9 .9 of the time. It's all about me. And that's selfish. Of course it is. But see, I admit it. But when the title is on the line and the belt is up, the champ comes home with the title. You got to know when to give them the good luck. But I don't know if you know how to turn that on to turn it off. You got to kind of know what the person wants. 
I remember one chick, she actually grabbed my hand and put it on her throat, like choked me. And I'm like, this is where I got to draw the line. Because <laughs> now this could turn into a legal case. My whole mind went to CSI. As soon as she did that, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this. I start choking you next thing you know, you go run. He insulted me. Look, he was choking me. I mean, yeah, this is not a turn off for me. I ain't choking you. I haven't seen too much CSI. Right, I got to get caught up with my YouTube video. I remember I did a video right after that. This is why I don't like to record videos at people's houses. Like if I'm at a girl's house, I don't want to go live and record a video. Because she'll try to be all in the videos, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> so if that's the case, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's change it up, Envy. Let's get to work. You got some work to do, brother. They laughing. <laughs> they laughing at you. Now, It's rough for Envy because Envy has to deal with the fact that he's stuck in this, I have to please my wife. That's the only life I know. But the only way you seem to be pleasing her, making her happy, is when you do stuff like this. She always comes up with an idea for her to feel relevant. Now, if she feels relevant, then okay, here we go. But if she don't feel relevant, then we stuck in this stalemate that we do over and over and over again. So is that where we want to be right now? Or is this is it? Like the saying goes, like, man, I've seen this show. We've all seen this show before. But it's up to Envy, what do you want to do? Barbecue a meal, do. <laughs> yeah, it was quite embarrassing for him to be sitting there talking about all this stuff that's going on in the book. And he just looked like a lost puppy. But see, this is why we talk about being a man. Why is that such a crime? Because they don't preach that in any other nationality except for ours. We are being too toxic. Cam Newton with his toxic ways of manhood. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. White man said that would have been no problem. Hispanic man would have said that would have been no problem. Black man said, oh no, we got to keep them docile. We got to take away any testosterone they got. If they show any type of emotion of being having testosterone, it's toxic. They're not allowed to be men. Make them apologetic of everything that they do that resembles manhood. Speak in your mind. Head of the household. We can't have that. See?
Now let's get to this real. All right. We didn't talk about the nonsense enough. Let's get back to the real work. Shouts out to Kwame Brown Bus Life. Welcome to HD TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Ticket TV, um, the Star Report. There's many of them. People out there doing their thing. 78 Sports TV, Blood Boxing, D Style Boxing, Chris Carlson, and the Rope Dope Radio Show. I am so mad I missed that show. It was on Tuesday, and I think he went early, and I was asleep. Either I was asleep or something. One time I looked at the phone, it was way too late. But anyway, I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease.